Hello friends and welcome to another fountain pen um, episode. This time we will uh, talk about affordable fountain pens and I have for you a rather special interesting fountain pen. You saw this model on a previous review. This is the Herlitz My Pen. But uh, this time we have a special color and um, I called it a light green. And as you can see, the grip section is uh, rose. So um, I will talk about this fountain pen in this episode. Quite interesting fountain pen. And let's get on with the review. It comes in this uh, transparent plastic case. On the front of it, we have the producer Herlitz. As you probably know, Herlitz was recently bought by Pelican and uh, it became a sub brand of Pelican. And we have the model name, My Pen. We have some um, drawings. And interesting, this fountain pen is designed only for left handers. It has also this interesting ink cartridge branded Herlitz My Pen. And uh, let's see, let's check on, on the back. On the back, we have uh, some um, small instructions in different languages. And um, I will read to you the description in English. So, cartridge pen writes immediately at any time for left handers. Of course, for me, it will be an interesting experience because I am a right hander. And uh, it will be interesting to see how I can manage to write with the uh, fountain pen designed for left handers. Here it says that the ink is erasable and um, here uh, they explain to us that um, one ink cartridge uh, branded my pen is equivalent of two international ink cartridges. And as I told you, Herlitz is a registered trademark of Pelican. And next we have some Pelican distributors and um, I will read you some countries. It's from Spain, from Greece, from um, Slovakia, from um, Prague, in okay, and Romania. And maybe this is um, an important from Bulgaria. I'm not sure. Okay. So, um, ESO, a standard of quality. It states that it is made in the European Union. I don't know if it's made in Germany or other European country. It states here that it's, it has a soft grip and uh, it refers to this one, this uh, pink one, which uh, indeed is soft. It's made out of a rubber material and suitable for left handers. And it has even an, its own website, herdispoint.da slash my pen. Okay, now um, we will um, try to open this as smooth as we can. It's quite well secured. Oops, okay, I've managed to open, let's uh, close the cap, oops, and take out the ink cartridge. So this is the package, we will leave this aside, and um, let's check out for a minute this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. It has this interesting, interesting design. I always uh, liked this uh, design. 
and um, you can see at the end of the cap it has this hole so um, you could wear it around your neck on a necklace or on a piece of a string it has this interesting shape of a clip metallic clip it has this big hole in the center in fact there are two holes uh, the first hole is on the top and the big one uh, is um, located on a part of the cap it ends with this logo which i think it is the logo of her it's my pen but i could be mistaken uh, okay nice metallic clip let's uh, check out how springy it is no it's quite a stiff um, clip so um, you have to be careful to apply little pressure when you try to post it some uh, in your shirt or uh, in other parts you can see this um, nice interesting design and um, I try to focus because my camera isn't cooperated with me today. So, look at this uh, cap. It isn't uh, symmetrical. You can see that um, it has this interesting shape. And you can only close it like this. So, you, when it's in this position. Okay, let's uh, look a bit on the on the barrel because on the barrel we have written Herlitz and my pen uh, these are painted on the plastic body and interesting they match the color of the grip section talking about the grip section it is made of um, different material from the rest of the body this is uh, rubberized and what it means it's um, it gives you a nice grip point the nib we have a steel nib you can um, i will try to focus you can see that uh, logo that i told you that i think it is uh, special for hair it's my pen the point of the nib, um, I believe it's an M nib, a medium nib. On the back we have the plain looking feed, the plastic feed. Another interesting um, point, which I think helps in um, securing the cap. We have another two breathing holes here on the body. And you can see it's see-through so um, this is a design and of course the back of the barrel ends uh, like um, in a form like um, uh, we see also on the cap so we have a little design symmetry here now um, I will open the barrel the barrel unscrews I will take the provided ink cartridge and um, I will insert it like this. I didn't hear that uh, click sound, but um, I uh, pushed it quite uh, good. So uh, let's hope we don't have problems. Now I will put the barrel back on the fountain pen. I will take the cap and I will close it. Now I want to show you some other fountain pens and um, for my um, for my review I have selected some interesting fountain pens that um, in my opinion have interesting designs and let's start with the cheapest one 
This is a fountain pen made in China, made exclusively for the French retailer Ocean. You can see the beautiful colors. You can notice uh, the barrel. It's um, made in this blue transparent plastic. So uh, we can check out the level of the ink cartridges. And most important and interesting, we have this rather large, rather large, uh, grip section which is made also of a rubberized material and uh, this fountain pen cost um, approximately 1.10 euros so quite an affordable fountain pen uh, with an interesting design also this um, uh, cap um, you can close it only uh, in um, one uh, position so um, it depends on the curves on of this gripping section. Let's leave this aside. And um, I will continue with uh, another interesting, interesting fountain pen. This fountain pen costs approximately two euros. And um, it is a quite interesting fountain pen made by Pelican. We are talking about the Pelican Griffix. This is a special fountain pen that it is designed in a way to help young children who are barely starting to write with this wonderful instrument, how to hold this instrument uh, securely and properly in their hand. Another interesting design uh, made uh, this time by Pelican, and I will leave also this aside. And I have prepared for you also a interesting design, a happy design from Pelican. It is uh, called uh, the Happy Pen. It comes in this beautiful, um, beautiful color. This time we have a blue, but they are also available in other colors. And uh, this um, cost approximately 4 euros. So another affordable fountain pen with an interesting, interesting design. And let's uh, leave also this aside. And um, I have an identical fountain pen from Herlitz, my pen. But this time we have another colors. So this time we have a combination of purple and light green. As you can see. And you saw the review of this particular model a few episodes back. And I also have prepared for you some fountain pens. They are identical, but the colors are different. This is um, a combination of black and the grip section is white. And uh, I will do also the review of this fountain pen in uh, the next episode. Uh, this is also the version for left-handers. And I have also another fountain pen made in this blue. And um, in combination with this um, green or uh, light uh, yellow um, quite um, suitable combination of colors they match perfectly and it reminds me of this um, pelican happy pen you see the same combination of colors and also the review of this fountain pen i will do in a previous um, episode in the future also, you can see the left-handers version. So I will put this aside. I will leave the dimensions of our fountain pen. And um, I will try to show them to you side by side. And uh, you can see that we have, uh, let's say, a medium size fountain pen. Not uh, too large, but also not too small ideal for school use or um, for day-to-day -day use. So I will leave the dimensions of our Herlitz light green fountain pen on the screen and we will do a writing sample with it. 
first of all open the cap try to post the cap and you can see hmm i have a problem uh, posting it i'm not sure if i'm doing something wrong so look i try to put this with this okay and it should it should stay but no it doesn't stay i always saw, thought that uh, this um, uh, openings have a role to securely post this uh, fountain pen but no let's try a different approach like this no so it appears that this fountain pen uh, doesn't post securely okay you can hold it like this but you can see we don't have um, a security in um, posting it no problem you know that i'm used to write with my fountain pens without uh, posting them so let's see now if the ink has reached the nib so we have here a hair lid. my pen and i must tell you it writes uh, excellent hair lids my pen this um, hair lids is a sub brand of pelican and uh, this fountain pen is made in eu european union they don't say in which country they are produced so we presume germany or other um, fabric located in the eu territory okay uh, this is the um, let's say light green light green version with a pink grips grip section we have a steel nib and um, it writes quite um, uh, like a broad nib i i will say it is a medium nib medium nib let's um, check out the initial papers so left handers and maybe maybe somewhere they um they mentioned the um, nib no uh, they say that it's only for uh, left handers and here we have example examples of other writing instruments from uh, the same um, uh, the same brand sub brand hair is my pen okay no problem so i think it is a medium nib but um, um, if you are used to fine or extra fine nibs you could call this even a broad nib it seems uh, it uh, surely writes uh, broader if you push um, on the nib and um, i will show you what i mean so here i apply no pressure but if i press on it you can see some variation of course this isn't a flexible nib so um, um, this is um, the limit of it and i will show you it isn't a flexible nib you can see here that uh, certainly no flex nib but it has a little 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 small variation uh, it depends on um, the pressure you put on it uh, interesting nib i don't know if i've shown you uh, you can see it is a rather bent but this is the original nib it's not straight you can see not straight but rather bent in in um, in um, um a way so uh, an interesting design that i saw only on hairless fountain pens including um, if you remember the review i did on the tornado okay no flex nib uh, i must tell you a beautiful beautiful writer 
let's check out uh, how wet it is. So, quite a wet uh, writer, a beautiful writer, no feedback, no scratching, it glides on the paper. I love the fact that um, you can call it a broad um, nib because um, in the range of affordable school fountain pens, this is a rarity. Remember, I paid for this fountain pen a nice sum of money, only 1.20 euros. So quite, quite um, offer that I caught on the French retailer Auchan because on other retailers, this uh, retails for, uh, I saw it even at 5 euros. So 1 euro point 20 was an incredible price for this fountain pen. Maybe the fact that um, it is made only for left-handers and they had uh, poor sales and they did this promotion. I don't know, but uh, you can see I'm a right-hander and I uh, can write with this fountain pen without problems. This was my review of a beautiful, beautiful, elegant fountain pen. Um, in these colors, it's suitable for uh, young ladies, but um, its performance is wonderful. I love the fact that it's, it is available in different options, different color combinations. And um, I think that this is a fountain pen that uh, you should try and uh, you won't uh, be disappointed. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this review. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. And um, as always, I wish you to have a nice day. Thank you. And bye-bye. Uh,